Holistic rubrics allow you to assess participants' overall achievement on an activity or item based on a single criterion using predefined achievement levels. In this tutorial, we will explore defining and managing levels for holistic rubrics. To begin, click on the name of the rubric you want to edit. Once a rubric has been saved, you cannot change the type or scoring method. The initial selection of these options determines the structure found on the second tab, and they are not interchangeable. To build the rubric, click on the Levels tab. In this example, we are looking at a percentage scoring method. On this page, you can add a level, edit levels, reverse the level order, and within the rubric we can see the level title, start range, description, and feedback. You can edit an individual level by using the Action Context menu, or edit all levels at once using Edit Levels. This is the page where you enter and edit your rubric details. Enter or edit the level name. The start range for your lowest achievement level is automatically set to 0%. The start range for other levels should be the lowest percentage acceptable for the level. The highest percentage is determined by the start range for the level above. Achievement level descriptions help evaluators determine which level best reflects a user's achievement. The more detailed your descriptions are, the more consistent the evaluations will be. Standard feedback is an easy way to communicate a rubric's evaluation methodology to the people being evaluated and to help prepare them for future rubric evaluations. There are two scoring methods available for holistic rubrics, percentage and text only. In the percentage scoring method, both text and percentages are used to assess performance. In the text only scoring method, performance levels are expressed using only text. Whatever scoring method you use, a holistic rubric is a great way to gauge overall achievement.